Hello and welcome to my updated bedtime, nighttime dental hygiene routine video here in my science themed bathroom. And before we jump in, I just want to remind everyone that dentistry and home care is based on the individual and dental products are not a one size fits all. So this is just what works for me for my bedtime routine and you should always, always, always ask your dentist or your dental hygienist which products are best for you. Having said that, let's start. Okay, the first thing I do is put my hair into a low pony. If it's not already, then I use my electric toothbrush. I'm all about electric toothbrushes and I actually have a tutorial video all about how to properly use an electric toothbrush, which I will link in the bottom bar below. And that is the first thing I do is brush my teeth with my electric toothbrush. By the way, I don't keep any of this on my counter. I just took it all out of the cabinets for this video. Just wanted to mention that. <laughs> anyway, back to brushing. I brush with whatever toothpaste I have on hand as long as it contains fluoride. And right now I'm using just a regular toothpaste with nothing fancy in it, no whitening or anything, just super basic right now. And I will link all of the products I'm using in this video in the bottom bar below if you're interested just so you know. Okay, so next, after I brush, I clean out my electric toothbrush by rinsing it with it turned on, and then I take it apart to make sure there's no toothpaste stuck inside. I also will let it air dry by not fully putting on the tip not fully putting it back on before I store it. It's also important to mention that I do not rinse with water yet. All I do is spit the toothpaste out, and this is because next I like to floss. And by the way, also, I think it's really, really important to mention that I always wash my hands really well before flossing because you're about to put your hands in your mouth, you know? So I do advise everyone to always make an effort to wash your hands before flossing. So. Back to why I did not rinse out my mouth with water yet. This is because when I'm flossing, I like the toothpaste to still be sitting on my teeth. And then the idea is that the floss is spreading the toothpaste up and down in between my teeth really good, you know? So everyone is different. Some people prefer to floss first. That's fine. I have a whole video all about the pros and cons of both options if you want to floss before or after brushing. I will link that video in the bottom bar below as well if you want to understand more about the optimal times for flossing. But this is what I do. I brush first. I don't rinse with water yet and then I floss. Okay, so now I will use my tongue scraper. This tongue scraper that I'm using has rubber bristles and a scraper at the back. So it both brushes and scrapes your tongue. You can see here, especially since I didn't rinse my toothpaste out of my mouth yet, you can get a good visual of all the goop on my tongue. So I do that. And next, now is when I usually rinse with water. You know, kind of swish back and forth, gargle. I use super warm water to gargle to help prevent tonsil stones and get all that sinus allergy mucus out of my throat. I actually made a big mess here because I don't usually use a cup. I just tried to be fancy for the video, but I usually just literally lean over the faucet and drink straight from the faucet because I do me and you do you, right? But one more thing about the rinsing. It is recommended to leave the toothpaste on your teeth if you can, but I just personally can't get into the habit of doing that. But if you can do it, do it, that's great. Next up, I will add in either proxy brushing or water flossing. So let's say tonight I choose proxy brushing. I personally use these every morning, so it's only sometimes, like I said, when I'm too tired to water floss that I use these again at night. And yes, this is in addition to string flossing. I go all out, I do all the things. And I do use a couple different sizes. So it just depends on your spacing, which sizing works for your mouth. I've been using the green for my lower front teeth. As you can see here, I have larger gaps between those and then the purple for all the remaining teeth in my mouth. And now on the days that I don't proxy brush, I will water floss. Some people need to water floss daily, especially if you have gingivitis or gum disease, but I don't and I still love it. Anyone can benefit from it. Just some people may benefit from it more than others. For me, I personally would never allow it to replace my traditional string flossing, but again, everyone is different. And then I like to clean my sink really quick with the high pressurized water. I mean, it's two in one, right? Clean your sink and clean your teeth. Now, I'm really almost done now. But before I do my last couple things, I rinse out 
my water flosser each time I use it as well. I turn it on and I run the line so there is no water sitting in the line. And then I also take the water basin off slightly and keep everything open so it can air dry out. And next, I now do my fluoride mouthwash. If you are water flossing, you wouldn't want to do this before because then all the water would rinse it all away. So make sure if you're using a fluoride or anti-cavity mouthwash that it is the last thing you do if you want it to work. I try to swish for the full one minute according to the instructions on the label, which feels like eternity. <laughs> it's like an eternity, like a forever amount of time when you're just standing there swishing. So this is when I actually like to organize my stuff. Right now I'm putting everything back in my cabinets that I pull out from my cabinets. And then once I'm done rinsing, I will spit it out. And like I said, I will not rinse with any water after. Finally, the last thing I do is put on my upper night guard here. As you can see, it is a custom fitting lab fabricated night guard from my dental office. And then for my lower teeth, I have a regular old school retainer that I got after my braces. And then last, but definitely not least, I like to put moisturizer on my lips. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Now it's time for me to go wash my face, do my skincare routine, then finally sleep. Peace, love, and teeth.